Hello there, I'm Officer Miller. Oh, how about an air shake? It's a pleasure to meet you all. Today I got a pretty tough assignment, teaching this class about school safety. But I need you, you, you in the back, you, you, you in the blue, you and, okay, I need all of you to help out. What do you say? Are you up for it? Good, because even if you said no, I'd pretend you said yes. So to begin, let's repeat what we're talking about today. School safety. You, just like me, an officer of the law, Ooh. can do simple tasks that can help keep you and your school safe. That's what you're going to learn today. But to be prepared, you have to listen. It's the most effective defense any of us can use against danger. Listening. Don't believe me? Well, check out this completely unreal, but somewhat possible situation. Imagine being in your classroom with your entire class, and the whole class is talking. Then there's an important announcement. But instead of quieting down and listening, the talking continues, and then this message is missed. Lockdown. Lockdown. There is a very large and smelly gorilla near the third grade classrooms. Now the classroom is exposed not only to a wild gorilla, but to a smell that's far from lovely. <laughs> Let's look at this situation again, but this time when the announcement begins, your class listens. With open ears and closed mouths, everyone is listening to the teacher. This time the class could hear the announcement and listen to the teacher's instructions. See, by listening and being quiet, the gorilla was unable to hear any of the students, and now the class is safe from the gorilla and its rotten smell. Now, a smelly gorilla probably won't show up in our hallways, and it's not likely other types of danger will either. However, we still need to be prepared if danger does occur in our school. And I bet you can guess what we can all do to help stay safe. Listen. We already know that announcements can be a sign that there's danger in our school. However, other sounds can too. Listen to these sounds and think about which ones don't belong in school. <laughs> Did any of these noises sound like they belong? No. These sounds are clues for you to tune in and get somewhere safe like the nearest classroom, and be ready to listen to your teacher. So, who do you think will know the safest way out? That's right, your teacher. Let's take a look at how it's done. Kids, we need to leave the building quick. After leaving the school, your teacher will lead you to a safe area far from the building. And like any other day, when you leave your classroom, you need to be quiet and move quickly. Your teacher is going to do everything they can to keep you safe, so just follow their lead. In some cases, leaving school may not be safe, so your teacher may decide to lock down. Say it with me, lockdown. Lockdown means you stay where you are, secure the room, and quietly stay hidden until told otherwise. To secure the room, your teacher will lock the door, turn off the lights, and may have you move larger items, like desks and tables in front of the door. This will make it difficult for anyone to get in, helping keep danger out of your classroom. And it works pretty well. I've tested it myself. Anyway, it is unlikely that a dangerous person would enter your room, let alone the school. But a big question is, what happens if you can't leave the building or lockdown and you have to face a dangerous person? This is really important to remember, so listen closely. Do whatever you can to get away from the danger. Throw things, kick, scream, run away, and get to the safest place you can. Go ahead and look around your classroom. Focus on close items that you can pick up. You can throw these items to distract a dangerous person while you try to get away. All of this sounds scary, and it's okay to feel a little scared. We're not robots. Although, that would be interesting. But know that your teacher, your school, and our community's law enforcement are always working to keep you safe.
The best way to keep danger out of our schools is to, well, not let it in. So if you ever see anyone at the door of your school trying to get in, never open the door. Even if you know them or they look friendly, don't let them in. Instead, go ahead and tell a teacher or staff member and they'll make sure that person gets the help they need. Can I help you? That really just goes for anything that you see that feels like it doesn't belong. If you see something, say something. All in all, you play a huge part in helping our schools stay safe, and it all starts with listening and following the directions of your teachers. So it's time for a little quiz. What are you going to do if your teacher tells your class to quietly line up so you can quickly leave the building? Listen. How about if your class decides to lock down and your teacher asks you to move chairs in front of the door? Listen. And what if they tell you to run? Listen. Our schools are safe, and you joining me for this training just made them even safer. I think that deserves a high five. Oh. I keep forgetting, I'm on a screen. Air five me. Well, I think my job here is done. Officer Miller, we need you to respond to a 1033. Be right there, Chief. I gotta go. Duty calls. Bye. Oh, and remember to listen and stay safe. <laughs>